Zimbabwean inventor Maxo Chikumbuzo is reportedly living in fear all because he wanted to give the world free energy powered devices. Hey guys, welcome back to the channel. This is Master, the ZimTech guy. If you're new to the channel, please consider subscribing. And if you do eventually end up liking the video, please give it a thumbs up. If you love the work that I do on this channel, please consider partnering with me on Patreon. From as little as $3, you can help me improve the quality of the videos that I produce on this channel. On that note, help me thank my biggest Patreons, Tom Ward, Takriri Rareno Mota, and April. Thank you so much for the continued support. Zimbabwean inventor Max Chikumbuzo is living in fear. This comes after he recently unveiled a self-powered TV that does not need a socket to operate. According to Max Chikumbuzo, all of his inventions were inspired by God. He actually got all the ideas from the visions of the night, as in the guy was sleeping and he just got ideas for inventions. Last year, Chikumbuzo was reportedly poisoned in the US. He had to spend a month in hospital. To make matters worse, Chikumbuto was reportedly informed by one of his top advisors that there were five Mexican hitmen that had been hired to kill him. I think the question that everybody might be asking is, why would people target Chikumbuto? Right? Well, according to him, it's because of free energy. Now, you know what happens in the world when somebody offers free energy, right? But let's say for one second, Max Ochikumbuzo's inventions are actually genuine. Can you try to imagine what sort of change they'll bring to the world? And can you imagine how many other businesses will probably go broke? Now, isn't it in those businesses' best interests to get rid of the competition, so to speak? I'm not saying this, his inventions are genuine or not, but why is he being refused to patent his products? In a press statement he released, Maxo had this to say. History has taught us how the cabals operate at different levels and how dangerous free energy is. The cabals won't fight non-threatening ideas and inventions. They focus on fighting what seems to have great potential. The cabal is actually people who work for them in many powerful offices such as media, finance, politicians and government. So here's what they would do so as to frustrate if they see that the idea and the invention has great potential. They will make sure that you will not get a patent at any patent office around the world. They use this statute. Inventions which are frivolous or contrary to well-established natural laws, for example, inventions that are against natural laws of any machines giving 100% efficiency or any machine giving output without the common input cannot be considered as obvious and cannot be patented. Automatically, free energy devices won't be patentable under this law. That is why we are here today and we had to take the trade secret route trying to protect the IP since we could not get a patent. Maxo Chikumbuto has so far unveiled a helicopter which utilizes six different fuels. A self-powered generator, an electric car, and of recent, a self-powered TV. Now, if these inventions turn out to be genuine, you can understand why maybe he might have a target on his head. Now, I'm not saying it's genuine or not, but the big question is, why are they refusing him to patent his products? According to Chukumbuto, even his Saith Technologies website was reportedly taken down because they are saying he's selling something that is fraudulent. They are saying it goes against the laws of physics. So, I mean, why would they hinder him from registering it? According to him, his inventions are classified as perpetual motion devices, which means they cannot be patented. But if you try to look at it from another angle, why are they putting in so much effort to discredit Chikumbuzo? Isn't there a way of them maybe coming and testing the devices to see if they're working? So do you think Chikumbuzo's inventions are real or not? Leave a comment down below. If you enjoyed the video, please give it a thumbs up. Otherwise, see you in the next video.